Well, for more than 40 years, Loth Group has been developing buildings, facilities throughout the state and around the country. During the recession, some wondered if the developer would really survive. Well, it did. And here now to discuss uh, the company and uh, what it's been up to, which is a lot post-recession. I'm pleased to be joined by the CEO at Loth, Mike Jones. Mike, welcome to the program. Thanks so much, Gary. Great to be here. The Loth name has been around for a long time, and, and I, would, I would consider it for the many uh, of its first years a traditional developer. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A grocery de anchored developer yeah. uh, with retail and took many twists and turns. But uh, as I like to say, we're 41 years now in business. Yeah. Uh, we've been very resilient yeah. uh, with downturns and up upside uh, along the way. A lot of companies had to be resilient going through the recession. Loth, no different. He under underwent some major changes and came out of the recession uh, as a more diversified company. Talk about that kind of the thought process in creating this new new company, if you will. Sure, sure. Well, I'm certainly not doing it by myself. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the most important parts was uh, coming out of the recession was making sure we retained the best and brightest that we had uh, in the industry, but with Loth, uh, and we were able to do that and then continue to grow the people. Uh, along with that, it was really being diversified um, by product type, office, industrial, retail, healthcare, uh, which we had done traditionally. We added uh, multi-purpose athletic facilities. Uh, we're under our second or third there and, and looking at several other new announcements, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, we moved into the multifamily business, so we've acquired about a thousand units uh, that we own and manage. Uh, we started uh, a company called Integrated Facility Services, mm -hmm. so that's a facilities maintenance company, a technical company that provides services to our clients that own buildings and uh, supplements our property management company, but allows us to stay in front of our client, add value throughout right. the life of their asset. I want to talk about a number of projects. Some recently completed Braden Business Systems up in Fishers, Hancock Regional Health. Fresh time uh, farmers markets, and you're the preferred Absolutely. developer. We right? are the preferred developer. We just completed our 13th and 14th wow. facility uh, in Evansville and Muncie. And I will tell you, I don't know if it's in light of Marsh or not, but uh, they've done really well, double-digit sales uh, year over year. Yeah, uh, some of the projects you have in uh, underway, uh, the Agora in Carmel, I think you referred to Finch Creek, the field house in Noblesville, yes. which is quite a development on the sports side. About 130,000 square feet. Uh, we're working in conjunction with Klipsch Card Athletic Facilities. Mm -hmm. They are our owner and operator. We're partners with them in delivering that facility. But. Uh, we delivered the Pacers Athletic Facility at Grand Park, which was about 100,000 square feet a couple of years ago. It's been an absolute hit mm -hmm. with the, uh, the athletes, mm -hmm. uh, with Nike, et cetera. So this facility is a little different. It'll have five courts, hard courts in it, about 75,000 square feet of turf yeah. for pickleball, soccer, softball, baseball, yeah. you name it, anything you can do on turf. Yeah. Uh, about 15,000 square feet of sports performance and PT services yep. connected to there. And we're also looking at eight outdoor fields uh, mm -hmm. as the next phase of the project. Only have about 20 seconds, but going forward, Mike, uh, as you look at what's going to really drive growth, what do you see uh, out there in the market? Well, there's lots of capital in the market, yeah. and it's definitely pushing it. Um, we're getting ready to break ground on a 700,000 square foot industrial facility. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to continue to be diversified and uh, leverage uh, our associates in-house to be successful. All right. Mike Jones is the CEO uh, at Loth, a company uh, with a lot going on. Uh, Mike, Absolutely. thanks for being here. We look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks much, Gary. All right.